I'm Jimmy Chang, we're here to talk about how to find limits of a function with a radical in the denominator. Now, when it comes to finding limits, it can be a pretty straightforward process, but uh, depending on what the situation is, with radicals, people tend to shy away from it. But um, depending on what kind of radicals you have down there, it can be a pretty straightforward process. So, let's see what we have. Suppose you want to find the limit as x approaches 4 of, let's just say, 3x minus 1 over the square root of 2x minus 2. 3, let's just say. Now, if you want to find the limit as x approaches 4, one of the things that you want to consider is can you plug it in? So let's try to plug in 4 in place of x. So you're going to have 3 times 4 minus 1 over square root of 2 times 4 minus 3. Now, 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1 is going to be 11, over square root of um, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 3 is 5, so 11 square root of 5. Now, in this particular case, you may need to rationalize to express your final answer appropriately. So this would be 11 square root of 5 over 5. Now, you may come across situations, just as an FYI, to find the limit as x approaches 1, 3x minus 1 over square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Now, if you have a radical and another number here, what you definitely have to do is rationalize the denominator, and that is multiply both the top and the bottom by its conjugate. So it'll be square root of x minus 1 minus 1 over square root of x minus 1 minus 1. You gotta do some foiling there, and after you foil and simplify, then you can uh, plug in the number. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to find limits with the radical in the denominator.